As much as we all hate to admit it, as scary as the mobs in Minecraft can be in survival mode, they often carry very valuable resources when you vanquish them. However, that's not always very easy to do. That is unless, of course, you have a mob spawner. And fortunately for you guys, I just so happen to have the blueprints for one. Hey everybody, my name is Ben with Learn Create Build Academy, and on this week's 10 Minute Tuesday, we're going to be showing you guys how to build a very basic mob spawner. Now, what is the purpose of a mob spawner, you may ask? Why on earth would we want more mobs to spawn around us? Well, as previously mentioned, lots of valuable resources can be obtained from killing mobs within the game of Minecraft. Bones, arrows, rotten flesh, gunpowder, not to mention experience are all sorts of different things we can collect by making one of these contraptions. Now the way it works, mobs spawn in dark places and within a certain distance of the player, so it's important that we build this spawner by our base. Basically gonna create a dark room that mobs will spawn in and get trapped in, and then they flow in water until they fall to their death and we get their stuff. I suppose it's a little mean when you think about it that way. And what am I talking about? They're mobs, of course, they're evil! This is exactly what we need to do. That being said, I'm going to make this in creative mode so it'll be faster to show you guys how to do it, but you can certainly do this in survival as well. First things first, you're going to want a lot of stone to do this build. Now again, mobs can only be spawned within a certain distance of the player, so if you're doing this in your survival world, it's going to be a good idea to have this somewhere pretty close to your home base. But don't be worried, this mob spawner will contain the mobs to a specific area where you can then go and mine them for resources. Now say this is where we want to start building, the first step we need to do is place our mob spawner 23 blocks up into the sky. And the reason for this is because 24 blocks of fall damage is actually enough to kill most hostile mobs and as well as our own player. So if we do 23, that means that the mobs, after falling down our mob spawner and hitting the ground, they will be one hit away from certain death. The reason that this is nice is because if the mobs were to fall to their death instead of just being one hit from death, their resources would drop and they despawn every five minutes, meaning that if it's there too long and we don't collect our resources, we'll lose them. So anyway, first step, 23 blocks into the air. Let's go. Alright, once you've built your uh, pillar, you want to go ahead and make a little 2x2 two two square. This is going to be the center of your mob spawner and where all the mobs are going to drop. Now to verify that we are at the correct height, we're going to switch into survival mode and take a quick fall and see if we're at half a heart when we land. Whoa, Geronimo! And we were. But now I've got these slimes chasing me. <laughs> All right, so the next step is to go ahead and build our water pathways. Now, again, what's the way that this mob spawner works is that because it's dark, mobs will spawn. They won't have anywhere to go except into these water pathways, which will be pushing them towards the centerpiece, and then they fall where we can then mine them for resources. In order to do this, we're going to build out in all four directions eight blocks. Now, the reason that we want to build out eight blocks, so it's eight by two, is because this is how far water will spread from the source block, which you'll see in a second is going to mean that our water is going to just push right up to the edge of the hole. That way, the mobs will be pushed towards the center. All right, it should look a little something like this. Next, we're going to build up the rest of the floor and the frame that the mobs will actually be spawned in on. And it's important that this is one block higher than the troughs or pathways you use for your water. Next, you are going to need to place your water blocks in the corners of your troughs and pathways. It's important to put two source blocks over here in the corners, and you will notice that it runs all the way exactly up to the edge, which this is going to be the hole that the mobs fall through. Alright, our second to last step is to go ahead and close all this in so it'll be perfectly dark for our mobs to spawn. 
Now, the one important thing is when you make your roof, you want to make it so that it is too tall, meaning that it is only two blocks. And the reason for this is that when the mobs spawn in, they're not going to be able to do any kind of jumping around or anything, and they're only going to be able to move forward, which will eventually get them stuck inside the water and down our chute. All right, so we have our entire mob spawner closed in and our roof constructed. It might be a good idea to build a tunnel all the way down to the ground to eliminate as much light bleeding through as possible, just like this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, so we can already tell our mob spawner is working. Oh no, they're already coming out. I wasn't ready for this. Oh gosh. But as you guys can see, we already have all of our mobs falling and dying. Oh gosh. All right, there we go. Nope, they're still dying. There we go. All right, so the last step that you guys will want to do is going to make sure that you add in this floor at the bottom because if there is more than a one gap tall gap here, then the mobs will escape. Again, so what's really nice about this mob spawner is you can do whatever you want to during the day and still have mobs coming in spawning. And then when you come in to attack them, you just have to hit them with your sword in order to get their resources, which is a really nice touch because then you'll always have the valuable stuff that they provide without any of the danger of them sneaking up on you in the wild. And and trying to kill you then. So as you guys see, this mob spawner is actually pretty efficient even though it is basic. You will get lots of mobs that spawn through this and will give you tons of resources um, forever. This will never run out. It is a renewable source of these resources that you uh, can get as well as experience. So definitely a really cool thing that you can do within Minecraft in order to uh, grind a little bit quicker than most players and with minimal effort as well. Just to give you guys a peek into our spawner here, as you guys can tell, there is definitely no shortage of mobs up here that are being spawned. It's just a matter of how long it takes them to find their way in to our water trap and then fall down where we can then harvest them. All right, so there you have it. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial in our 10 minute Tuesday. Let me know in the comments down below what other mob spawners you guys have made in the past or what ideas you guys have to innovate this and make it even more efficient. Until then, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.